Bonjour and hello everybody, my name is Y Cooper Y and uh, t today we're going to have a little bit of a different video. Um, lately, as a lot of people who are on YouTube know that there's been, been that big adpocalypse as they're calling it and a lot of mainstream YouTubers have, have been talking about it in a, uh, here I'm going to give this a little lower, there we go, you can see my hand, see my hands now. Um, but a lot of big YouTubers have been talking about it in, in saying like, oh, well, it's giving me a hit, but I'm going to be able to take it. I'm going to be able to, um, to, whew. I'm going to be able to survive the hit because I've got a platform and I've got a big audience and it's cutting from like X big number to X smaller number. And they keep saying, but the hit that's going to happen to smaller YouTubers is going to be much bigger and they feel bad, blah, blah, blah. But I haven't seen anybody like a small person like myself who, who is insignificant in comparison talk about it at all. And it's it's it has made a difference. Now, obviously, it's not like I'm going to be fucking homeless or anything. I'm doing this uh, for you guys. And I've said before, even if there was no monetization or anything, it would still be fun and I'd still be doing it anyways. But it just sort of adds, 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 it helps, right? It's just it's a real it's it's. It isn't necessarily about the money itself. It's more about the money showing the amount. It just, it's that ratio, right? It's showing, you know, if, if you get 500 views on something or a thousand views on something, that will become, because it's monetized, it'll turn into a monetary value and that monetary value will show you people like this stuff or people care or whatever, right? So it's, <laughs> if, I, if I got demonetized everything and they're like, yo, you can't, do it anymore I would still be making videos because it's fun and I like doing it but I haven't seen somebody do that comparison of the smaller people so for those of you that don't know um, there were some allegations not some allegations there was some ads that showed up on some like racist hate videos and the people who had their ads on there like coke or whatever were pissed and they're like well what the fuck I don't want my ads on a racist video like I don't want I don't want to be associated with that. I don't want my heart or I spend millions of dollars in advertising in year to put me with this guy who, who's saying the N word and, and all this crazy stuff. So he's like, look, we're going to pull out. And it turned this giant, this giant thing that sort of snowballed into a whole bunch of people pulling out and all these ad revenue going away. So the ads are still playing, but the actual value of those ads has gone drastically lower. And uh, big YouTubers like PewDiePie, for example, has shown... Um, that he's been, he, I think he did a, he, in one of his latest videos, he showed that his monet, like his monetization value that he got was $38 on his last video. Now that'd be sweet for me. If I made 50 bucks a video, that'd be fucking cool. I'd be like, Ooh, yeah, I'd love that. But for a guy whose entire career is based on that and is, is literally a millionaire because of this, that is, that's nothing. That's chump change, right? So it's showing the decline, but no one has shown their true contrast in in the smaller youtubers like myself who when those values go down lower it could it could cut straight to zero so i took the actual values out the actual numbers because i don't think that's important to what i don't really care it, it necessarily if people know the actual monetization income from whatever i don't really care but it's more of just the chart i'm just showing sort of showing a trend of it not necessarily the actual numbers um from my own videos so you can see, I'm gonna, nope. It's gonna be here-ish, but I can see it on my other screen right over here. So I'm not gonna be looking at you for a second, but I'm still talking to you. So there, yeah, there. I'm trying to look at backwards here. So up in this area, uh, um, you can see that it kind of goes up and down. It kind of does a spike, so whatever. I put it in maybe a shitty video or a video nobody cared about. And the, in the month, in the estimated, was it estimated revenue? Yeah, the estimated revenue is going up and down and it's doing a, a flow, right? It's going up and down, up and down, up and down. And everything's all fine. But, I mean, PewDiePie called it the adpocalypse because it's that's just a name for it and everyone's been kind of rolling with it. So I'm just going to call it the adpocalypse for, for sake of argument. You can see there's a red arrow on here. I uh, will be putting it in later, so somewhere. There's a big red arrow that shows the day that those ads pulled out. So the day that the ads pulled out was, I think, April 6th is when everybody pulled out in mass. And you can see my chart here. I'm pointing at it. 
from my screen, but everything's doing a sort of up and down, up and down, and then it flatlines. And another thing to note is in that flat line is my two of my three top viewed videos happened between now and April 6th. So I've got two or three videos that are almost at or have just crested 500 views, which is easily my most viewed. So like 1500 views between these three videos. Now I know for some people that isn't, that's nothing, but for some people it's a lot. And for me, that's a lot. And I'm, and uh, this isn't really what it's about, but thank you guys who pay attention and like it. I, I really do appreciate it. I know I say at the end of all my videos that I appreciate it and it helps me out, but it really does. And, and you can see that before all this stuff, it was going up and down and I was really content with that and I really liked it and I felt engaged and I felt like that it was starting to build into something until it flatlined and I was like, I don't understand why, but I was watching a bunch of Philip DeFranco stuff and he sort of started explaining it in terms that I understand as opposed to all the crazy jargon or whatever. So yeah, you can see it goes like flat, but at the beginning of May, I put out a video that has right now 505 views. And in the middle of April, I put out a video that has like 550 views. And just before, you can see that really big spike was from a video that has like 300 views. So you can see that even though it only has like whatever, 70% or like 66% of the views, it has a thousand times the revenue and I just, it, it doesn't make, it didn't make sense until I actually started putting two or two together. So this graph shows my chart of why, where it is and where the whole monetization thing died. And, and that's what it is. Now, what I also know is that, that the YouTube is finally caught up to it and sort of realized that what's happening has been a problem and they've done some sort of things to address it in the background. They've done some, made it so that like you can't, um, it doesn't affect anybody retroactively, but anybody who has less than 10,000 total views can't start monetizing their videos. Anybody who did it beforehand are fine, but moving forward as of April 6th, I believe it is, when all this shit went down, you can't start getting monetized after or before that 10,000 views. So they've done some things like that, but on, sorry, I'm bringing up something else here, but I think it was on the weekend there was like some whatever ceremony or whatever and the YouTube people were there. So the, um, here, let me just, uh, what's her name just so I don't screw it up. So Susan Wajki, I'm going to put it, it's going to be written right here because I am not going to, Susan, Susan, the CEO of YouTube finally actually said something about it. And what, what she was talking about how she said, like, I know, and I'm paraphrasing this part, but she said, like, I know that there's been a problem and we're trying to address it and we're working day. Well, the, she said, um, we're, we're working day and night to fix the problem. And that is a direct quote. But what she ended it with was, fuck, I'm all backwards. I'm like, eh, where am I? But what she ended it with, with, with was this. And she said, we apologize for letting some of you down. I'm here to say that we can and will do better. Now, what I'm hoping that means is it means that they're gonna fix that problem to be able to bring the advertisers back and help people who are whose career is YouTube to continue to thrive. And people like me who do it more as like a hobby can actually make like more than literally nothing off of it. Again, I'm telling you I would do it anyways, but it, it's nice to get that monetized appreciation. You know, it, it, it's, it's money they're making they're making whatever 40% off out of it anyways. So it's a, it really is a win-win. They just need to find a way to make that connection back again. And they, they ruined a relationship between them and their own advertisers and the people who are getting harmed about it is themselves, obviously. I think it said that they, they've estimated about $30 million in lost revenue, uh, uh, ad revenue already. And, but people like PewDiePie who makes arguably tens of thousands of dollars a video makes 38 bucks on a video. Like that's a huge drop. And someone like me who makes like a few bucks a video goes to zero and it flatlines. So it just, it, they need to figure it out because it's not just them being affected, but I just, I, I want to make this video because I've never seen anybody do it, show it from a small channels per perspective. Everybody's been like, Oh, well I went from 10,000 
per video to 6,000 per video, that's whatever. But those are big numbers. So anybody who's like me, who's a much smaller YouTuber, hasn't been able to see how it could affect them. So my chart and, and what I've shown is, is really how it's affected me. And I can only assume that it has affected you similarly. So um, I'm hoping that they fix it soon. And I'm hoping that there's a resolution to it because I actually, you know what? It, it really doesn't necessarily matter because I'm not doing this full. T well, I mean, I am because I do a video every day, but I do it for fun. But there are people who are really trying to start this as their career or people who have already started it as their career and it's really hurting them. So I hope it's fixed for that as well as it helps me out. As I always say, it, it really helps me out for having extra mon money, I guess. Whatever money doesn't hurt, and it doesn't actually cost any of the people who view the videos anything. So it's just it, it. It seems like a win, 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 win. I guess for YouTube, but they fucked it up by screwing up the relationship. And I really hope they fix it for people like me who want to make some money while doing something that they really love doing, or people who are trying to start a career, or people who have a career already. So I think I'm gonna leave it off there. Um, I might do a little more digging into the more um, uh, analytics of it. And maybe do another follow-up video of just like how deep it goes. Or maybe when it starts getting revived, show like, hey, look, we're coming back. Or, or when I start seeing that change, I might make another video saying like, hey, look, for a small channel's perspective, it's starting to grow back. See, here's insert, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it there for now. So um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, uh, especially more now than ever with the problems of the ad apocalypse. Um, but again, I really appreciate it. And if you see anything else on the channel that you like, throw a like on there as well. It really helps me out, again, especially in these times. So um, if you are a new YouTuber or you're a small YouTube channel that's been going for a while, just comment down below and I'm gonna go look at your stuff. I'm really open. I really wanna make this community into a big thing. And there's already been some people who have been really supportive um, even when I was going through school and I kind of couldn't keep up with my schedule, there were people who were really behind me on that and I really do appreciate it. So, um, for everybody like that, comment down below and I'll take a look at your stuff. I mean, I'm not going to subscribe if I honestly don't like the content or it's not my thing, but I will definitely go and look. So just comment down below saying like, Hey man, it's crazy or whatever. Don't just say like, Hey, sub for sub or like, Hey, look at my stuff. I mean, join the conversation, but as long as you actually join the conversation, I will definitely give it a, give it a shot. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that here. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope that this really picks up and they find a solution to this problem. Um, but yeah, so as always uh, have a good day, everybody.